Good day, YouTube. How are you? How's everybody doing today? I hope everybody's in good spirits. Everybody's healthy. Everybody's doing what they're supposed to do concerning this uh, coronavirus. You know, I'm I'm doing as well as I can do in this situation. Just tired of being in the house. It's starting to get to me. I'm about to lose my mind. It's, uh, oh my God, it's not being able to go outside or really interact with anybody. I've been seeing my mother since January and, you know, I mean, she's doing good, but I just haven't been able to see her or my sisters. So I've just been stuck in here just like everybody else, you know. I look outside and I see people walking around with no mask, no gloves on, like it's like every uh, average day out here. I don't know how they do it. It ain't for me to know how they do it, but I'm just like looking at them like, yo, how do y'all do this? But it is what it is. I mean, people gonna do what people gonna do. You can't make nobody do nothing, even though Cuomo is trying to make sure that everybody's staying in the house and doing what they're supposed to. Nobody's listening. So it is what it is. This thing is gonna keep going on. It's never gonna stop because ain't nobody listening. So it is what it is. I'm just trying to figure out what am I gonna do because they talking about this here pandemic might still be going on in 2022 and I'm like nah man I can't be in the house till 2022 that's too long it's, man, oh my god I mean naturally if if if, if it has to go on that long it has to go on that long and you know I have to do what they say you know what I'm saying but man 2022 I'm trying to be in the house that long I ain't got nothing else to do in here. I mean, trying to find something to do every single day in here. I done made up the beds. I done uh, did the laundry. I done cooked. I done cleaned. I done, I done did the dishes. I done swept. I done vacuumed. It's nothing left for me to do. This place is so clean. You wouldn't believe how clean my apartment is. Every day I'm looking around the house. I'm looking around. What can I do now? What can I do now? What can I get into now? Just to have something to do to keep me busy. To keep my mind off the fact that I can't go outside. And, and, and I'm about to lose it. I, I ain't gonna lie. I'm about to lose it. Because I'm used to getting up, getting dressed, throwing my face on. I look like, come on now. Look at me. I, I look, you know what I'm saying? I look like somebody's science project right now. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not used to that. I get up. I wash up. I brush my teeth. I get dressed. I get in my car, we go by the water, we might go to IHOP or maybe TGI Fridays or something like that. Then we sit by the water and we like to watch the boats and stuff like that, go by people with jet skis and stuff. We, you know, we like to have fun. Sometimes we will drive out to the Verrazano and get on our bikes and ride and stuff like that, you know, and we like doing stuff like that. And, so this here is really hard for me because I'm an active person. I like to go. I don't stay in one spot. I like to be gone. In and out, in and out, in and out. And I can't do that. So it is what it is. But <sighs> I want to talk about my diet. Um, so the update is that, you know, I've tried the chocolate because on my first video, I told y'all that I only uh, I had the strawberry and the Actually, that's good. I really liked it. And I don't even really like strawberry, but that was good. But um, I've had the chocolate. And it's, it's really, it's not just chocolate. It's uh, cookies and cream. And it's it's all right, but it, it do have a somewhat like medicine taste to it. So, I mean, it's good, but, you know, it's not as good as the strawberry. I'm, I'm really feeling the strawberries, so I'm going to have to give me some more strawberries. But like I said before, I started out at 278, and I'm not going to get on the scale until Mother's Day. And I want to do that because I don't want, I don't want to get in the habit of getting on the scale every week, every week. And if I don't see a change or just if it's just a little bit of change, a little spike, you know what I'm saying? Then I'm gonna be all, oh gosh, what am I doing wrong? Or, oh yes, I'm doing this right. And then the following week, I stand on the scale and I lost a pound or something, and, or I gained a pound or something, and then I'm, I'm upset again. So it's like, you know what? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna ride this train through. I'm gonna wait until Mother's Day and I'm gonna stand on the scale and I'm gonna see what I did. And, you know, 
if, 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 if I'm able to see a, a really big difference in my weight, then I know it's going to push me to keep going. I mean, I'm going to do it regardless, but I know it'll give me that extra incentive to keep going if, you know, by um, Mother's Day, if I stand on that scale and it says something that I'm really excited to see or hear. So, it is what it is. But, um, how y'all dealing with this corona virus staying in the house and um, this quarantine thing? Has, any, has anybody planning divorces yet? <laughs> Have there been any fights in the house or arguments? Have anybody threatened to kill anybody? <laughs> you know? Have the kids been driving you crazy? Are you are you threatening to leave home? I mean, you know, everybody deals with stuff like this. You know, you never you never really get to know a person until you have to be quarantined with them. That's when you know. Just like I tell, you know, my sisters, I told my sisters, I said, you, everybody needs to live with a person before they get married. Because you need to know what you're getting into before you commit yourself to somebody. It's always good to at least live one or two years with somebody. Because after a while, they can't hide who they really are anymore from you on a daily basis. And because of that, you get to see the person they are before you commit yourself to this person for the rest of your life. So I always say, you know, this is a good time to move in with your boyfriend or move in with your girl. You know, if you're thinking about, yo, this is the one, I'm going to marry her, or I'm going to marry him, we're going to have kids, we're going to be together the rest of our life, this is the best time to test that out. Because if you can't make this work over through this coronavirus thing, you got to remember, when you marry somebody, that's it. You with them 24-7. From the time you wake up until you go to bed at night, that's who you with. So you got to know that you can deal with their attitudes, their messiness, the cleanliness, you know, there's some people that's too clean and a person can't take it. There's some people too messy and a person can't take it. You know, they, some people have attitudes, you know, they want to eat at a certain time. And if their food ain't ready at a certain time, they have an attitude, stuff like that. You know, you have to really know that you can handle a person's personality outside of the home. You know what I'm saying? Because, I mean, not outside of home, but I mean inside the home. Because outside the home, they could be a totally different person. When you're out in the street and y'all having fun and y'all having a good time, you're going to see that fun side. You're going to see that nice side, that loving side. Oh, my gosh, she's everything or she's everything. But when you're in close corners with somebody on a daily basis, you get to see the, the real, the thug come out. You know what I'm saying? And you got to decide on whether or not you can handle that. So this is the best time to test that. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be a lot of people that's going to test that. And it's going to be after this quarantine, there's going to be a lot of single people. There's going, be, there's going to be a lot of single people walking around here. Yeah, girl. I had to let him go because <laughs> all that attitude he be showing me and all that, I didn't even know he was like that. I didn't even know that he was all on it like that. Like, yo, he mad possessive. Like, where you going? Why, like, why you dressed like that? Like, they, <laughs> what time is it? Like, and then when he be like, yo, I'm going to hang out with my boy. She be like, you were just with them. Like, I'm here. You know what I'm saying? Like, what am I supposed to do while you out hanging out with your boys? Like, then, then you're going to be talking to your friends. So I'm like, yo, son, I ain't know she was like that. I ain't know she I ain't know she got down like that. Like, yo, usually when we together and I be like, I'm going to hang with my boy. She be like, all right, baby, you got to do what you want to. I'll talk to you later. And then I, yeah, but dude, she lives with you now. She lives with you now. All that went out the door the minute y'all moved in. The minute you said, I do, baby. I love you. I do. I, baby, it's me and you, baby, for life. You know what I'm saying? Don't nobody come before you. Then you get in that house. That ring is on that finger. Mm -hmm. She done hung that wedding dress up because everything's over with. Now you see what you got. Now you got, I'm not cooking. Now I just cooked for you last week. I'm not cooking. I don't feel like cooking like shit. Man, please, I'm tired. I didn't run around. I didn't do this and I didn't do that. I'm tired. Like, but babe, I ain't eat all day. Man, there's some sandwiches. There's some sandwiches. You better eat you one of them sandwiches. <laughs> I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Then as the women, it's going to be like, baby, I've been home all week. I'm tired. I want to go out. 
Man, go with it. Man, where we going? Where we got to go? Ain't no way to go out here. But he can find a thousand and one places to go with his homeboys. But when it comes to you wanting to go up, man, ain't no way to go. Why we can't just chill? You know what I'm saying? Let's just get a movie and stay in the house and just, you know what I'm saying? I want you to lay up in my arms. But baby, I want to be out in the street. I want to go out. We've been in the house. That's all we do is stay in the house and watch movies. I want to go out. Man, ain't nothing out there. Ain't nothing out there. You better, <laughs> you better test the waters is what I'm saying. But anyway, I got to go brush my teeth. Then I got to go do some more laundry, some more laundry. And then, I don't know, I'll probably just watch some TV, read a book or something like that. Do something with this. So, until next time, peace.